Disclaimer. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Mr. Confident, and you smell awful. You see? You see how that was funny? Because today, we are doing r slash confidently incorrect because everyone knows that you smell just absolutely amazing. And this subreddit is fun, I haven't done it in quite a while. It's full of a mixture of things that humanity concocts and just puts out into the world with such confidence. And it's all just grossly incorrect. And we laugh at it. Enjoy. And the mustache is coming back because, oh, I am just a bit of a fancy fellow, aren't I? <laughs> I can't read memes in these. God. Motherfucker didn't even move. Did you see that? He mm -hmm. tried to act so badass and cool. <laughs> He's in my bike lane. Uh huh. Uh huh. Didn't even move, dude. Didn't even move. Oh, wait, I'm in the walking lane. <laughs> oh, shit. I feel like this has happened to me with various things in life. When you like get prematurely upset about something, but then like 30 seconds later realize, Oh crap, I'm the one in the wrong. <laughs> oh no. Happy to be hashtag mRNA free. You've got plenty of mRNA in your body. <laughs> if I do, it is not by consent. I mean, I guess you're technically correct, but... You don't know what mRNA is, do you? <laughs> I am also DNA free sets me apart from all the sheeple. DNA is for sheep. Construction blocks for human bodies. Pfft, disgusting. I am not one of the sheep, I am unique. Bibble says trans rights now, and it's your little Bibble character, that's really cute. Trans activist misspells Bible as Bibble during trans pride earlier today in London. No, I don't think they did. They're referring to something that isn't the Bible. I'm glad we could settle that together. Pronouns, I slash me. You are welcome to refer to me in a negative way, but you must adhere to these while doing so. Pronouns in the social media bio is apparently sometimes used as a signal by older men to show younger men that they will talk about naughties in DMs. What is all this on about? Is this... What... What, what is all this... <laughs> I feel every day I spend online, I get more and more scared, and I don't think this is what it is. Most people uh, I see with like pronouns in bio it has nothing to do with uh, this. I don't know what you're on about. What the hell? Are they just trying to try to twist it into something like creepy? Is that what this is? Or am I misunderstanding completely? Where they're like, oh my god, anyone who has pronouns in bio are preying on people. But in reality, it's just like, hey, gender is cool to respect, you know? It is time for at Elon Musk to ban all parody accounts on Twitter. If he won't do it, I will ask Congress to act. Is it really so hard to take three seconds to verify if something is a parody or not? He said confidently while replying to a parody account. <laughs> How silly. Life can get really fast, doesn't it? I want to quote some lines from a movie. How do I cite them? Not to be picky, but it's sight. <laughs> sight is what your eyes have. Oh, Brittany, it is not. Oh my god, how can you correct someone else's spelling so confidently and then get the literal next sentence wrong? What are you doing? It is literally impossible to get aid from heterosexual intercourse. <laughs> Trust me, I am a licensed bimalologist. I got my degree from Twitter. Uh, really? Genuinely big fear. Absolutely really, you cannot get AIDS from Vajudre intercourse. <laughs> you see, you just cured- That's actually a really horrible standard exists in a couple of places in the world when they're like, Oh my god, if you get sick with STDs, you will get cleansed. If you do the dirty deed with a virgin. Which obviously is a very, like, bad thing to do because it then just spreads it further, doesn't purify anything, it's, it's horrible. You really think that someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? <laughs> My little bunny jumpy friend. <laughs> it's basically all lies at this point. I wonder where this person heard this or what they did to reach this conclusion. It, it's it's fascinating. Like is this, is this something you actually live by yourself? If you go home with a lady from the pub and they're like, oh, by the way, I have AIDS, you're gonna be like, that's cool because it can't spread from woman to man. <laughs> is this the rules you live your life by? God, that's bad. Thinking humans and animals are the same thing and therefore have equivalent rights and desires is a category error. Humans are animals, though? We aren't plants, fungi, or microorganisms now, are we? No! Humans are humans and animals are animals! 
But like, subcategories, my man. It's like saying a dog isn't an animal because it's a dog. Lots of you guys are making the same category error they are. Part of evolution theory includes the idea that all organisms on Earth are related. The human lineage is a small twig on the branch of the tree of life that constitutes all animals. This means that, in a biological sense, humans are animals. Nah. <laughs> what do you mean, nah? That's your debunking of an actual source? Nah. <laughs> oh, Twitter. Imagine thinking you know more than actual biologists. Imagine citing Wikipedia as a source instead of just looking around and realizing humans and animals aren't the same thing. But what do you mean? You can do the same thing. You can look at a dog and a dolphin and be like, gee, look at that. They're not identical, but they're both flesh-based beings. Wow. What a concept. My source. Look around. <laughs> God, that's amazing. You have to use that at some point. One of the sources I gave is from a university. Oh, it still doesn't matter. Why not? You know a lot of the people who work at universities are scientists, right? Blorp works at a university. Go believe what he believes. Imagine thinking you know more than a philosopher. I think the whole argument is really silly. <laughs> is it really hell you decided to die on today? Dear God, don't you have any hobbies? I support Red, as he does, in fact, appear to be a vegetable <laughs> and therefore not an animal. <laughs> Law like, seriously, why does he think he knows more than biologists? I even asked him if he is a biologist and he completely dodged a question. When someone dodges a question, that always means they don't want to admit being wrong. In this case, yeah, it's like, what's your source? Ah! I look at the world sometimes. <laughs> Oh gee, your sources, I have eyeballs. Great, how unique. What up, fellow alphas? I'm Alpha Click here. I'm gonna teach you about the whammons and how to be an alpha male with the whammons. Here we go. The CLIT isn't a physical thing, it's a figure of speech. He can't find my CLIT. Which is code for that he can't make me enjoy myself. Stop looking for an actual CLIT. It is not there. You see, I have been with many a women and none of them enjoyed it. That's my source for <laughs> knowing things about women. <laughs> Follow me for more relationship tips. I mean, you freaks invented fictional pronouns like hedge and ham. So, <laughs> you know, it's difficult to converse with a patently insane. Seek therapy or a better therapist. He slash ham is Dutch for he, him, le mal. Oh, how dare people in different languages have pronouns. Pronouns are only allowed in English. God. I'm gonna be honest as well, like a, like a mind-boggling concept here. All pronouns are made up. The more you know. When is this transnationalism going to stop? First, I hear more and more people in my country identifying as Dutch. Uh, windmills are taking over the country. Next, I hear a young couple on a date say they were going Dutch. Uh, and now, even kids, literal children on the playground are playing double Dutch. Oh, God, not the children. This has gone too far back in my day. God created two nationalities, American and not American. We had our own separate bathrooms and the system worked. Oh, yeah, it's not separated by men and women. It's America and non-America. Do you want a freedom bathroom or do you want this bathroom? <laughs> Stop all this woke Dutch brainwashing nonsense. We need to pray the Dutch away. Massive slash S if that wasn't already apparent. I kind of like this because this is what a lot of the debate feels like today. You're not allowed an American bathroom if you don't have at least three guns. Oh, you want in the American bathroom? Show me just how free you are tonight, baby. Hmm. Here is cutting a rubber tree. That's a rubber tree. The sap smells horrendous. <laughs> sure, rubber tree. Yeah, that sounds legit. <laughs> what, rubber grows on trees? <laughs> you could see and hear a cut into its hardwood. If that was rubber, it would peel like that. But uh, yeah, it's made of rubber. <laughs> Move along. What do you think a rubber tree is? Do you think it's just gonna be like a big freaking doing doing? Like a giant adult toy that's just like doing doing doing? It's not like a solid piece of rubber that grows out of the ground. <laughs> You know, that's not how it works. Rubber doesn't grow on trees. What? You think wood grows on trees? R slash ask reddit. You get $10,000 if you make a girl reject you on a date in under a minute. What do you do? Breathe. Spelling breath like that would definitely get you 10k. OP, you know, breathe and breath are two different words, right? Lol, I freaking hate that. There are a few, like, pet peeves I have with basic goddamn spelling and grammar in English. And I'm not even a native speaker. It's like the your, you are stuff. It's so easy. People still get it wrong. It blows my mind. And breathe and breath. It's like, there are two words. There are two words. You made this bullshit spelling yourself, English-speaking people. At least you can stick to it. God. 
Anyway, I'm very happy today. Moving on to the next meme, shall we? All of these guns fire one round each time the trigger is pulled. I see how you left out that AR-15 can shoot multi-rounds without reloading unlike the other guns. You aren't that bright, sweetheart. Isn't 6 rounds versus 30 rounds 5 times as long without reloading? Some people think shotguns don't have a magazine and have to be reloaded by hand because they saw a double barrel operated that way in a movie. In most movies, actually, you can shoot about 10 or 20 rounds from a revolver or a pistol without reloading. <laughs> oh yeah! I love those movies, where it's like, there's a swarm of zombies or something, it's like, wait a second, how many rounds are that? They've shot 50 zombies with a single revolver without reloading. It is amazing. It's like in crafting survival games when we put like a modification for extended mags and a revolver, and it's like, ah, oh, 25 bullets. <laughs> nice. Base is fake. You cannot have a near-perfect vacuum next to a pressurized system. Do you not believe in gravity or something? <laughs> Take a straw, dip it in the ocean and suck. You just defeated gravity. And what happens when you stop sucking? I mean, you're also basically defeating gravity by just doing this, you know? Gravitational pull also depends on, like, the mass of the object. You know, if it's not too heavy, there's not gonna be that much gravitational pull on it, you know, because lower mass. You can actually calculate it if you want, but math is hard. What happens when you stop sucking? Ah, they will never know because flat earthers never don't suck. It's wild. Like, out of all the things you could pick to have a conspiracy about, you pick flat earth. <laughs> There are so many more, like, interesting things in the world that could be kind of true, or that at least has a freaking motive to be true, or, like, go chase aliens or something, at least thinking about aliens is fun. Like, Earth flat? Come on. It's not new. Flat Earthers prove it all the time, usually by showing how little they understand about basic science and cherry-picking quotes. This is just part of a giant black hole of stupidity, and I recommend not going down it unless you have a huge tolerance for obnoxious people who think they are smarter than all of the scientists ever, and an urge to show it with an arrogance turned to 9,000. Yeah, I think Flat Earth very much embodies the spirit of r slash confidently incorrect. It's very fascinating. It also gets boring fast, because they seem to not bother with new arguments anymore. Yeah, and it's never like a complete model. One thing I've noticed about Flat Earth and other conspiracies is that they always nitpick individual things, but they don't even have, for example, an overarching physical model that can actually explain how the Earth even operates or exists. Like, they don't have a way to explain gravity. The best one I've seen so far how to explain gravity is that Earth is a disk that is constantly accelerating upwards, so we're all being pushed into the ground because the sheer acceleration. That's... <laughs> That's the only thing I've seen so far that actually explains gravity in a flat Earth model. And, you know, the consequences of that are absolutely insane. My favorite science fact is that with straws, you aren't sucking the liquid up. You're creating a vacuum, so the weight of the three-mile column of air above the glass can push on that liquid and shove it into the straw. This also means that since there's a maximum weight on that air, there's a maximum effective straw size, about 30 feet, but depends on the width. This also affects how buildings are designed since they need pumps to reach certain heights. Oh yeah, you have the same kind of logic with water towers, for example, and water tanks and that kind of thing. They always need to be higher up than the sink you want the water to come out of, unless you want, like, a pump that's constantly pumping from below. Um, that's just kind of like how liquid flows and gravity and stuff. Does that mean my straws are ever so slightly less efficient because I live a mile above sea level? Yes, in fact. Whoa. <laughs> We've had the mind blow of the day. Beautiful. Free tampons in New Jersey schools? Proposed law moves forward. More tampon insanity? When are the GOP candidates going to address this? Whoever does will go up in the polls. I hope it's President Trump. We'll go against tampons that... Oh, okay, right. You cannot understand what it's like to have a female body or period. Tampons aren't naughty at all. Listen to the women who are explaining this to you. Do you want women to decide we need to get rid of Viagra because it causes unnatural erections? I wouldn't want Viagra passed out in schools, but... That's not what anyone is saying. You're equating a thing that isn't equivalent. You're like the same person who thought that rubber trees would be giant dildos. Stop. And I suggest the same for Christians when it comes to tampons. Also, at least Viagra isn't inserted into the body. That is pretty personal. I mean, you, you, you put it in the body, though. It's just a different orifice. Is that also naughty now? You can't eat? <laughs> hey, fellas. Is it sexual to eat meat? <laughs> uh, maybe not that. You know what I mean. I mean, according to this person, toilet paper would also be highly sexual because it's like butt stuff, you know? <laughs> I wonder if they're not... Are they trying to ban toilet paper? Is that a thing? 
Our Planet 2 Season 2 is not a trustworthy source of information. I don't know much. That's a great way to start off a sentence if you're gonna argue against something. But I know enough to know there is a glaring error in Episode 1 of Season 2, which gives me no faith in the rest of the season. It's a simple oversight, but it makes me wonder what else sounds close but in reality is wrong. While describing the Arctic environment, Sir David Attenborough states that the temperature can get as high as 36 or 38 degrees Celsius, which is 96.8 or 104 freedom units. I don't know much. <laughs> Again. <laughs> but I know for a fact it's not that warm in the Arctic. I didn't Google this or anything. It's just like I saw some snow in a movie once, so that's my source. And while this is a simple use of the wrong word, what else is just one wrong word that could completely change the accuracy of a statement? Forgive any typos or odd phrasing. I've had a drink or two and I'm off to bed. So you're saying that you don't know anything. You haven't even Googled it. You're also drunk, <laughs> which would explain the confidence in this case, but not the incorrectness. That is wild. UN confirms record Arctic temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit, life science, and here's the link. Woo! You could have Googled that yourself without looking silly on Reddit, you see? Google can save you from so much hardship. Sponsored by Google. I guess I'm sponsored by Google because the videos have Google ads. <laughs> sponsored by Google. Lid down, smelly is here and goes up the chimney. Smelly, lid up, then everything is smelly. The lid has nothing to do with the smell. There's a pay trap built in the toilet. Pee trap. Do you mean a water lock built into the toilet that hoods water and won't let the gases or smell come back into the house just like your sinks do? So if that is the case, then you need to put the drain stopper in your sink and tub as well because to go to the same place, lol, people can be so stupid. Yeah, you see, you're perfectly right with the water locks. They do exist under your sinks and stuff to make sure that there's some gas and stuff bubbling up from the, from the sewers and the pipes and that kind of thing. Makes perfect sense, but we're not talking about a place that has a water lock. We're talking about a literal hole in the floor where poop goes. It's an outhouse, good sir. It's an outhouse. It's just a pile of shit under a lid. If you open the lid, it will go stink stink. Unless it's a really fancy outhouse. Maybe it does have a water lock. Not even sure how that would work in that case. Man has places to be. I don't usually call out people on their grammar, but I think it's supposed to be man had placed to be. No, I'm gonna look at the next meme. Thank you very much. That is not true. You're right. It's actually a blue-footed booby. You're. You didn't get good grades in English, huh? <laughs> grades don't exist in language structure. And it is your get some reading comprehension r slash confidently correct. Do you are have stupid? <laughs> Why do you like quadruple drown on basic grammar? You can literally type the sentence into Google and it will autocorrect it if it's wrong. It's so easy. I do this with video titles sometimes because I'm very dyslaxative. So that's a fun fact. The amount of times I've published a video with a spelling error in the title is uh, it's probably a few dozen by now. I wonder if anyone is actually keeping count r slash confidently correct on a video of a large truck being brake checked on a highway. Dude, watch this freaking video and shut the hell up. Do your effing research, Jesus effing Christ. If you're so gosh darn knowledgeable about trucks, then you should know that engineers have redesigned the entire braking system for semis, allowing them to stop within tens of feet, fully loaded. Well, I guess it depends on the speed. You know, if you're talking about if they're driving crawl speed, then you're technically correct. But if you're talking about any practical speed out on the roads, no, they can't just instantly stop. How would that even work? Like, do you realize how much force it needs to be applied for something to stop instantly? It would be like hitting a brick wall. And you should also know that this technology has been around for eight plus effing years. Genius. <laughs> I linked a single example. Hopefully you can take it from there and not be so ill-informed and stuck up about semis just because you're able to drive a truck of fro- lol. What? To and fro lot. Oh, I don't even know. Some people's kids, man. Yeah, no, don't go and brake check things that are carrying heavy loads and driving at high speeds. They will not be able to stop in time if you're being a poo poo. Thank you. He should stand in front of a fully loaded semi and see if he can stop it on a dime. As a commercial driver, I can confirm they cannot. Indeed, it's <laughs> like, do you realize the amount of force? It would be like hitting a wall. It's ridiculous. Like, oh my god. I mean, can you imagine what it would mean for the passengers inside the truck? You know, for the mass of your own body. If the truck was driving, let's say 100 kilometers per hour, and it instantly stops, basically, that's gonna be the same thing as if you got hit by something that hard through your seatbelt. It would be like getting hit in the face by with something driving as fast as that. You know, that's the equivalent. The force stopping it, the braking acceleration has to come from somewhere. It's like the, the consequences of this have not been considered. R slash confidently incorrect. People living in the Victorian era were healthier and lived as long as people do now. 
Life expectancy was skewed by infant mortality. Most of these people probably lived just as long as you will live, and healthier too. Their food was real, their environment wasn't polluted, they exercised, they weren't obese and sick on 30 pharmaceuticals to stay alive. They could afford a home and a family and children, no income, you're just coping. <laughs> sure, there were tough things, there are tough things at every time. Depression and anxiety reached new heights like every single year. These people were undoubtedly happier, less lonely and more in touch with reality than the average person today. Oh damn, that's a, that's a lot to unpack. Yes, child mortality rates is a real thing and it does basically skew statistics. And one of the really good leading factors if you want to look at how well a country, for example, is developing is when the curve for child mortality goes down. It's a super good measurement for how well a country is doing because it involves so much stuff. It's everything from healthcare to, for example, infrastructure. Do you have a lot of ditches and bad roads where children, for example, get into accidents or can drown? It, it's a measurement that applies to a lot of things about a country. And were they people in those ages that lived for as long as we can now? Yeah, maybe. But you know, they didn't have access to the same kind of stuff. If you got cancer, you died. If you, for example, got infected somehow, you died. You know, you didn't have penicillin or any kind of stuff like that. You didn't have modern medicine. So sure, they didn't have the same bodies. I don't think the food was particularly higher quality. Were they more in touch with reality and depression, anxiety reaching new heights every year? There is this old philosophical argument. I think it's from Buddhism, where they basically talk about how kings that were apprentices to philosophers actually reached uh, this point where they started thinking about, you know, the grander picture faster than the actual master because the kings already had all the materialistic stuff figured out so they didn't have everyday worries to consider. And once you reach that stage, you think more about the other stuff. So if you mean by in touch with reality, like more, you know, spending more time on everyday things, collecting food, fixing stuff, uh, whatever it is, sure, maybe, but I don't know, I feel there's a lot to unpack here, and it's a very odd thing to bring up all this stuff for that conclusion. Like it or not, you're trying to say the 88% of players who left bad reviews are scumbags. My opinion is the correct one, I'm going to fight. Tell me with a straight face you wouldn't be bummed if all 15 of those keys resulted in a bad review. Hey man, real weird percentage to choose to use there. 22% of recent reviews are positive, which means 88% are negative. The math checks out. Are you sure? <laughs> Ah, he did that kind of math, where it's like 20 minus 100 means 80, and 2 minus 10 means 8, so it's obviously 88. <laughs> Whoops. Mentioned you in a comment. You do realize lobotomies were typically performed at a patient's request after years of failed treatment, right? I love these, like, you do realize, and insert completely incorrect statement here. Nice. No way this picture has half the internet in a chokehold right now. What is the closest time to midnight? 11.55 a.m., 12.06 a.m., 11.50 a.m., and 12.03 a.m. God, they should just use, like, what they call military time, or regular clocky walkie, as the rest of the world calls it. I'm also wondering if this is a trick question. Like, you, you can think about it this way, 11.55 a.m., that's obviously, you know, in the morning, you know, you're, it's almost lunchtime. Same thing with 11.50 a.m., it's basically the same time. 12.06 a.m. would be, if you go a.m., p.m., that would be after midnight, six minutes, and 12.03 would be three minutes after midnight. So the three minutes after 12 is the one that's closest to midnight, but I also have the feeling it might be one of those trick questions where it's like, oh, at which time will we be closest to midnight? So, you know, if it's right after midnight, do you mean that we're closest to it or furthest away from it, right? So so in that case, the answer would be 11.55 a.m. In the other case, the answer would be 12.03 a.m. So, I don't know. 12.03 a.m., three minutes after. Midnight, not noon! I did the same! Oh no, 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 it's not... That's... Noon is 12.03 p.m., though. A <laughs> dude doesn't know dinosaurs are fake! Dinosaurs did exist, though. Just ask any paleontologist. Paleontologists know F all. They completely ignore the mud flood that happened less than 500 years ago. Wait, 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 what do you mean mud flood? You mean the entire world was just splooshy mud and everything's just woo what, what do you mean? Anyone from a university or museum is controlled opposition. You will never get the truth from them. Dinosaurs are a hoax. They are to distract from the giants that were here. Ah, the giants, were they at the same time as the mud flood? Or were they also before it, so all the evidence would have been completely removed conveniently as well? Um, <laughs> I think your own argument kind of counteracts whatever you wanted to get out of this discussion. What do you mean, giant? Jesus Christ. Draw a small clock that shows 10 minutes past 11. 11.10! Wrong! Ah, oh, you want the analog clock. I mean, it's pretty smart, it's technically correct, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Do you have to respect other people's opinions? Their opinion. 3 to the power of 2 is 6. 
It's literally six, though. It's six. Y'all are smoking. <laughs> literally six, but okay. It's six, y'all. Don't understand how exponents work, and it shows. God, humanity, why are you doing this to me? When you have an exponent, you take that many of the number below it times each other. So three to the power of two is the same as three times three, which is nine. So flip that six upside down, you silly bean. Thank you. Well, I did get a master in like engineering and math and stuff, and I'm glad I get to use it to correct second grade math on YouTube. <laughs> r slash questioning what happens if we poured the ocean into the sun i had a dream about this where i poured ocean into the sun what would happen like the entire ocean um yeah no the sun will go out if you look out into the sky the sun is pretty small it's about this big if you poured the entirety of the world's oceans on this it would definitely go out you're absolutely correct excellent this is bad English them. <laughs> in that sentence implies there's more than one person. You can refer to a singular person as they slash them. That's basic grammar. <laughs> nah, he slash she is their name. Their name. Their Na How can you contradict yourself in the same literal sentence? My homophobic cousin knitted himself a trans flag bracelet. That's adorable. I love it when things like this happen. Just nice little symbols hidden. In plain sight. Oh, it's the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Donald J. Trump promises to ban transgender men from women's sports. Yeah, I don't think anybody's arguing about that specifically. I like it when they when they don't get the terminology right, so it just means like... Yeah, you're not arguing against <laughs> anybody. <laughs> Someone asked you to address them by their preferred pronouns. <laughs> Would you comply? <laughs> oh no. No one has a gender, and no one's gender needs affirming. I mean, we have so much gender affirming in general. It's just that they don't think about it because it's like all over the place. Like anything you do to express what you think is feminine or masculine, it's, it's basically gender affirming stuff. Why we do what we do? Save your sons. More dads, less crime, less abuse, less poverty, less violence, less illiteracy, less dropouts, less addiction, less self-harm, less mental illness. More dads equal a better world in every way. Showing support for the case. <laughs> I love that caption. I love that this is like the result of this. It's supposed to be like, I don't, I don't really know what it's supposed to be pushing to be honest, but <laughs> they just have, okay, so more dads is better. Nice. Comment on lol woke asexual TikToker says to blah, blah, blah. She's definitely not asexual by choice. My dear sir, I don't think anyone is. You know, burns are supposed to be like, not like a moist sock. We will bow to no other god but Jesus Christ. We will stand on what the Bible says and we'll never bow down. Why did you place a flag on it, though? <laughs> did you just make a gay god in your own meme about what? what? <laughs> You're b king gay. Oh, that's a nice censoring. Huh? The gay flag. And you're gay. You're welcome for the win, by the way. You're welcome in my butt. Thank you. <laughs> Were you trying? <laughs> to be, like, really homophobic, but you accidentally just uh, invited yourself as a little bottom. That's very cute. You see, it's all coming along. 70k or $700,000 in pennies? That's why you need to know math. A <laughs> hundred pennies is only one dollar. So 700,000 divided by a hundred is only 7,000. But it says, though, specifically 700,000 in pennies. And the 7k is actually not specified in the currency. That, that could be the real shady part, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Am I the only one who's reading the question properly? The square root of minus 225. You're arguing about something which is literally undefined. But yes, that is the thing in math. Uh, imaginary numbers, we call them in Swedish at least. They're referred to by the letter I. You use them in all kinds of forms of mathematics, but basically the square root of minus one is I. So that's what you do. You use this in, in a whole lot of different schools of math, and it's a very established thing. It's very funny, though, because it's kind of thing that's hard to imagine in reality, like the square root of something negative doesn't really exist, but it still works in math to actually calculate stuff, which is really fascinating. It's a, it's a pretty cool concept. Anyway, ladies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here, you wonderful bean, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care and have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah.